Palumbo here with another RX Muscle rant. Yep, you're getting another Bob Chick video, unfortunately. I wasn't going to respond to his last video that he did because it was absolutely ludicrous. But, but he lied. And when people lie, you know what we're about here, the truth and bodybuilding. So I have to respond. Plus, the lie was so heinous that it actually perpetrated all the way to the competitors. And I don't want bad information being passed on to the competitors. So I have to address what Bob said. First of all, what he tried to do because he was so utterly obliterated in my last rant that he had to try to assassinate my character in some, some way and make it look like I don't know what I'm talking about, which is kind of stupid for him to come after me because this is what I do with my life. I am immersed in bodybuilding 24-7. Bob could take shots at me and say, whoa, Dave uh, is in his basement and uh, doesn't go to shows anymore. Well, first of all, Bob, you lived in Fort Myers, Cape Coral area here. You had a house here. You know there's no basements in Cape Coral, Fort Myers, okay? You're in Florida. There's no basements here. So right off the bat, <laughs> that's an inaccuracy. But I'll, I'll let that one slip because I think it was more of a metaphor on your part. Um, I know it bothers you that I actually have three young kids and I, I like to spend time with them, but it doesn't mean that I spend any less time on bodybuilding. All I do is bodybuilding, from diets, supplementation, informational videos, covering contests. I know what's going on in the sport. To sort of imply that because I don't actually show up at the competitions like you do because you're emceeing the events is ridiculous, okay? Because don't question my knowledge of the sport and don't question my dedication to the sport because everyone knows that is utterly ridiculous because probably I'm probably one of the top five hardest working individuals in the sport. Having said that, not that I need to defend myself, um, the next thing he did was try to take a pot shot at my nutritional products, which I found kind of interesting. Um, he, he, <laughs> he actually says, <laughs> Dave's got his stuff right next to him on his table and he's, he's pushing his snake oil. I and many other people who actually go to shows, Dave, and this is where we might have a little bit of a disconnect because you're stuck in your basement selling your snakes and your snake oil there that you got next to you. First of all, Bob, I've been researching nutritional supplements and formulating supplements for as long as you've been in the sport, okay? So this is what I do best. And everyone out there knows that my product line is the highest quality supplements that you can possibly buy. And you know what? They're so high quality, in fact, that most people wouldn't put out a line this high quality because the profit margin is very low. But I don't care because that's my passion. So don't insult what I do and my knowledge based on that. And I find it kind of interesting that you would actually try to poke fun at the fact that I actually, God forbid, would market my own nutrition line through my videos that I do, when you have other people's products sitting right next to you and you're hawking them the minute the video starts. You're so happy that you actually have a sponsor that actually would, would actually give you money to talk. And you have no shame putting those out there and then you'll poke fun at me. And these aren't even your supplements and these are probably the same supplements you were probably bad mouthing you know, two weeks before you got them as a sponsor, because that's what you do. Having said that, all these little factoids are kind of irrelevant. Um, the, 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 the relevant point here is that I put out a video explaining why, and the only thing, that, it, was, it was the only point that I was making was that institution of weight classes based on height in, in men's physique is not the right way to do things. Why? Because and Bob, of course, twisted this out of contortion. I said if a person has trouble making weight because they need a certain body, upper body size, they can always take it away from their legs, okay? So there's never going to be a weight class issue with people making weight because the legs are expendable because they don't judge legs. So Bob, first of all, twisted what I said and implied that they're going to just waste away their legs and they're going to make their bodies look like Ronnie Coleman's. I didn't say that, Bob. I didn't say they're going to overblow their upper bodies. There's obviously a size standard that the judges want to see and a look, 
what I'm saying is if they can't make weight and get their body to that ideal size, they can always take away the size from their legs. So it's, it, the weight classes are not an accurate assessment. Now you took that and twisted it to make it seem like I was implying that people are just going to get unlimitedly big on top. And that's not what I said. And you know that, and everyone who watched the videos know that. You also then made the one grand mistake. You said that Dave doesn't know what he's talking about and that in men's physique, the entire physique is considered, including the legs, because you can see leg sweep and you can see calves because the judges only judge the upper body. They don't judge the lower body. So if you want to be able to make weight, you know, and have a bigger upper body and still meet the height weight requirements, you, you just don't train your legs. All right, let's stop right there. The judges don't judge anything but the upper body. This is patently wrong. I mentioned in the last video, I'm going to mention it to you once again, feel free to contact any of the judges out there in the NPC or the IFBB. Even though the legs are certainly not featured in men's physique, i.e. the longer shorts, the entire body is taken under consideration, clearly. You can still see the calf development. You can still see the size of the legs. You are judging a body on stage in its entirety. So stop saying that they're not judging the legs. So what you were trying to do is assassinate my knowledge of the sport and my knowledge of how the sport is judged. And you actually challenged me to go talk to the judges. Feel free to contact any of the judges out there in the NPC or the IFBB which I found interesting. I said, wow, this guy is actually laying it out there. He must be pretty confident in what he's saying. If he's saying, Dave, go check, check it out. You obviously don't know what you're talking about. So you know what? I wasn't going to respond to the video until I saw that one point. I said, okay, I'm going to go check it out. So I contacted a very high level Olympia judge, and I'm not going to say the name. Bob wants to know the name. He can contact me. I'll tell him who it is but it's probably one of the most reliable, best judges out there, in my opinion. And I asked him, I said, um, Bob Chickarill and I have a little uh, debate. I was wondering what percentage you guys attribute in men's physique to the legs of the scoring, when you're scoring and evaluating. And he said, quote, we don't look at legs. We don't look at legs. They're not even looking at the legs. So the assessment and the judging criteria for men's physique from a head Olympia judge, who Bob, you can contact me, I'll tell you who it is, says that they don't look at legs. So that means right off the bat, Bob was lying. Lying. Now, why would Bob lie? Well, because Bob's ego is so great that he didn't like the fact that I made a valid point and made him look ridiculous. So he said, you know what? I have to discredit Dave, so I will lie. However, the lie doesn't hurt me, okay? Because I could give a crap about his, what he says. The lie hurts the competitors. Why does it hurt the competitors? Because now the competitors who have watched his video think that they're being judged on their legs when they're not because the judges, quote, don't look at legs. So your, quote, self-appointed athlete's rep, who's in my mind not the athlete's rep because no one who competes today elected him, but he's the, he self has anointed himself the, the athlete's rep. The athlete's rep is passing bad information to the athletes all because... He wants to try to discredit me because I hurt his ego. Real, real good guy. Really has the athlete's interest at heart. He's the guy you really want representing you. The guy who lies and passes bad information. He should never be allowed to use the term athlete's rep. If he does, he should be sanctioned in some way because... What he's doing is, is not forgivable. I hope all the athletes are watching this video and realize that in men's physique, like I said on my videos, the judges don't judge the legs. 
They judge the upper body. It's an upper body competition. Lies and bad information are what ruin the sport. And even if your ego is hurt, even if you were proven wrong by someone and you, and, you, and you want to get back at them, you don't lie. Not if you're a person who's supposed to be an information provider, someone who's supposed to be looking out for the athletes, and someone who loves the sport. Shame on you, Bob. Dave Palumbo with an RX muscle rant.